Another Cobb Bank and investigation has discovered that the federal government can actually deny your flood insurance claim even if you've done everything right. And tonight we're continuing to push for answers about a loophole that could cause your national flood insurance policy to be worthless when you need it. Consumer investigator Shannon Bankett is live in studio tonight to explain. Shannon. Stacey Keith, homeowners and legislators are now both telling me that they had no idea about this loophole. And as it stands now, when you buy a national flood policy, there is no way for you to check to make sure that you will be fully covered. Last week, I introduced you to Danielle Jensen. Her family moved from North Carolina to this Shore Acres home just months before Tropical Storm Debbie blew through, causing nearly $100,000 in damages to their house. It was the second, second or third surge. It was at 3 a.m. in the morning, water started coming in. Jensen says she thought they were protected by an $8,600 national flood insurance policy administered by FEMA. But weeks after an adjuster started their claim, it was denied. They were told the previous homeowner filed a claim for the same damaged materials in December 2023 and did not make repairs, leaving them on their own as if they never even bought a flood policy. So even down to the appliances that have the same serial number from the prior loss claim. The kicker is there's no way to be proactive. FEMA confirms to Better Call Banking that it does not require policyholders prove they made repairs. And new homeowners cannot check to make sure they did. FEMA has issued over 1.7 million NFIP policies in Florida, with more than 400 billion in total coverage. There's no way to know how many of those policyholders would be denied damages because of unrepaired prior loss claims, just like Jensen's. Would you have ever bought this house if you'd no. done this? No. Traditionally, homeowner's insurance requires you prove you made the repairs your policy paid you to make. But a FEMA spokesperson confirmed FEMA does not require this for NFIP policies. The spokesman wrote in an email, quote, prospective policy holders cannot request the claim history from FEMA due to privacy requirements for a structure they do not own. They can ask the current owner for the property's claim history if they are willing to share that information. Florida law requires home sellers to disclose defects to houses that could impact the value of that home. I'm currently going through the disclosure statements provided during this sale, but Jensen tells me that she would have never bought this house if she knew that there were unrepaired flood damage there. In fact, she says that the home passed inspection and the inspector did not mention any flood damage at all. Mm, boy, this is frustrating. So yes. I know you reached out to lawmakers. What are they telling you? Well, I'm continuing to reach out to lawmakers, Stacey. Both Congresswoman Kathy Castor and Congressman Gus Bilirakis' offices, they both tell me that they're now looking into this. Bilirakis sent me a statement today, this afternoon, saying in part, we've got to prevent catastrophic situations like this one from occurring again in the future. A change will likely take legislative action, though. So again, this is a story that I will stay on. You know what I'm sensing here? The Benkin Clause. <laughs> I mean, well, FEMA needs to write it's, that in. I mean, it's just one little extra line. It, hey, if you, if you, you know, verify a, you took the money or you It's didn't. a simple fix. And right. I've been speaking with insurance uh, companies, private insurance yeah. companies, and everybody else does this. Everybody else makes you prove that you've made the repairs. So FEMA. why shouldn't FEMA? Yeah. I see a change. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If you have a problem,